Hi everyone! Today I'm going to teach you guys how to set up a, mo a s camera system with multiple bird box cameras. So usually when we set up a bird box camera, we first to learn how to do it with one bird box camera. And the one bird box camera is really easy. We just use this one, connect it to the ethernet. If we use wireless, it's different. But if we use PoE, we use the ethernet and connect it to our main network system. In this case, our router. And then we'll have our images on like our apps, our phones, our tablets. Now, p more and more people have been like purchasing more and more bird box cameras and they find it very convenient to watch birds and sometimes they want to set up a full camera system like a surveillance system and thank goodness our bird box cameras are IP cameras as well so today I'm going to teach you guys how to set up a camera system with two bird box cameras and since we're going to do this in like a home based area we're going to use re residential air, uh, tools instead of like some industrial tools we're going to use our Bailey Dace router, router. We're going to use a PoE injector and then we're going to use a PoE powered switch. So everything we need is ready and let's do it step by step. So first of all, we need to get our camera, make sure that we get a very good PoE bird box camera. Our bird box camera, our green backyard PoE bird box camera, well, we have a lot of great features like the 1080p high definition resolution and also adjustable lenses right here so we can adjust the focus length whenever we switch positions also you can see the four infrareds around provide us night vision and the wavelength will not startle the birds and the tiny small size you can see comparing to my hands really small fits in most any bird box and then it's we have microphones built in so you can hear the birds tweet and we have recording features so once that's connected to our internet we can record down the precious moments on our hard drives it would be very wonderful Okay, then we have our router. This provides the data. And since our router is not PoE enabled, we're gonna have to upgrade our non-PoE system to a standard PoE system. So that we're gonna need our PoE injector. So our PoE injector is now currently connected to our router. So then our router will provide it with data and the PoE injector connected to our alternating current outlet. It will now have power. The injector injects the power to the ethernet cable. And right now, I'll connect the ethernet cable to the injector. So now there's PoE going through this long cable. Imagine this is like a distance of 100 meters so we can set this PoE power switch in any direction for 100 meters. That's the good thing about using a PoE. All right, now we're gonna power up our PoE power switch. A power switch is a really special device. It's like a hybrid device. It acts both as power device receiving the the power and data from another power supply equipment and it acts like a remote power supply equipment. It receives the power and data and then it will give it is connected to it. And now once I insert this Ethernet cable with power switch, it will now have power and data to give to four more IP devices. That is very convenient for us if we want to like set up multiple bird box cameras. So once it is receiving power and data, we're going to connect our bird box cameras to it. One and two. So now we're going to just let it uh, buffering, uh, get the data from the PoE power switch and then go back to our router. So once we have our bird box camera set up, we're going to use our apps on our phone or our tablets, whatever you wish, to see the bird box cameras. All right. Now you can see that my iPhone has already downloaded the application and I'm just gonna go click it and open it. Once I activated it, I'm gonna log in. Log in, there are two cameras here. These are both our bird box cameras. And I'm gonna open one, choose one of it. And you can see it's our live stream. If I move the lid on the box, it will have a little bit of movement. And what happens if we want to watch two of these cameras at the same time? There is a selection at the middle, auto. We can click on it and there's a kind of a grid right here. Third option, we choose it. And we have both our bird box cameras. You can see that these are our live streams. Okay. 
All right, that's pretty much it for today. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them at the section below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.